I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about gaslighting because gaslighting is really a very cruel manipulative tactic that narcissists use to brainwash their victims. And uh, I know a lot of people have suffered very, very horribly as a result of gaslighting. I know in my own personal life, it had left me doubting everything I thought I knew, uh, doubting things I had seen, doubting things I had heard, and had left me in an extremely discombobulated state. I'm going to read something here uh, that Ross Rosenberg wrote. Now, I do understand that Ross Rosenberg uh, presents as, as an expert on narcissism, but I'm going to say I find him to be very victim shaming, and I also find him to be of that kind of really bad idea that it takes two to tango. For someone who specializes in narcissism, you'd think by now he would have figured out that it actually doesn't take ta two to tango. It actually takes one lunatic to find a victim and to stir up all kinds of shit and ruin people's lives. But uh, I did find this to be kind of interesting, so I'm just going to read it. Okay, so it says, uh, I just have to change screens here. Gaslighting is a brainwashing strategy perpetuated by highly manipulative narcissists who live secretly and undetected in our society. Like child molesters seeking prey, gaslighters have a keen eye for spotting vulnerable personality types who are susceptible to their pretend affection. It goes on to say, gaslighters achieve complete control by manipulating the environment so their victims identify with an overwhelming and incurable pathological problem, which they never had. Huh. <laughs> complete brainwashing. Yeah, fucking been there. I'm going to tell you, I think, and I've really been trying to find out why, why this nightmare just lingers on. And I've talked to lots of people who've been free for 10, 20 years who still have this mm, horrible, horrible sense of dread. And for us to heal fully and completely and leave this nightmare behind us and just step into a new life, we need to be able to sever this. And I've, I've felt like something, something has us just attached to this nightmare. And I think it might be the overwhelming brainwashing inflicted by the gaslighting. Gaslighting is an extremely cruel form of abuse. It is very well calculated, very methodical, and very manipulative. And the intention is to cause the victim to doubt what they've seen, doubt what they've heard, doubt the way they're feeling, doubt their own sense of reality and their own perceptions of what's actually happening in their own lives, in their own beds, under their own roofs. And uh, this leaves people very, very broken, especially after long-term gaslighting. Now, gaslighting will not only leave a victim to doubt uh, you know, what's going on in their life and with them, but it can actually cause the victim to truly believe there is something wrong with them. I was to the point where I was apologizing profusely and nonstop. I was on eggshells so thick I was afraid to move or speak. I was very careful putting pots on the stove so I didn't make a loud noise with them. I opened the fridge very quietly and very carefully. Any sort of banging in the kitchen would send him off. You know, you can't even cook. Why do you do this? It sounds like there's a herd of elephants in here. Uh, everything I did was so careful not to tip the apple cart. I was afraid most of the time. I never just spoke. I'd, I'd sit and, and contemplate what I was going to say, rewording it over and over again in my head so I didn't sound crazy or sound paranoid or, you know, to to prove to him that I was all the horrible things 
that he was saying about me. It was absolutely fucking horrendous. Years and years of this type of abuse. And my hand shook all the time. I was sick. I was thin. I was throwing up. I was afraid when I was getting dressed. I was afraid to put on mascara. I was afraid to blow dry my hair. Every single move I made was an opportunity for him to tell me how fucked up I was, how messed up I was, how out of control my life was, how stupid I was, and how all of this was my fault. All of it. But this is how insidious and how all-consuming this type of, of abuse can be. I knew uh, years and years earlier uh, that Trevor had a lifetime history of mental illness. He was a middle-aged man, and looking every minute of his years, he'd been pretty beat up from the beer and pretty bad lifestyle choices. But uh, his mother had told me that the problems really started with him in very young childhood. By the time he was 11, they knew there was something seriously wrong. And by the time he was 13, they were seeking uh, help from psychiatry and mental health experts for Trevor. Now, I've never had troubled relationships. I've never had uh, career issues. I've never had any issues with mental health whatsoever. And there I would be at night knowing this, like knowing this to be fact, but I had been gaslit so badly that the thing would be sleeping beside me and I'd be laying there awake thinking, how did I get this sick? How did my life get this fucked up? Where did I go wrong? What am I doing wrong? I had bought every bit of the bullshit he was selling. I had absolutely become convinced through all the gaslighting that me and me alone, hmm, I was the problem. Gaslighting is an absolutely fucking horrendous form of abuse. It incapacitates uh, the victims mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and very, very frequently horrible physical symptoms will start to develop as a result of this. Relentless gaslighting incapacitates victims to the point that they can no longer see a way out and suicide becomes an option. Now, for those of us who are out, yes, we are really starting to see that we were under some very manipulative form of mind control, but if you're still in it, God, no, we are, we're here for you. We really are. We're, we're here, and I wish there was a way to get beyond this that was going to get you out sooner. But you need to try to keep reprogramming over that abuse. No, it's not me. No, I'm not crazy. No, I don't need medication. No, I don't belong in the fucking mental hospital. You are a horrible, horrible fucking piece of cluster B narcissistic shit. It is not me. So if this gaslighting is wearing you down and breaking you, please try to find your inner voice and just keep reminding yourself it isn't you. You are trapped in a horrendous cycle of abuse, and we're all hoping that you get out soon. For anyone still trapped right now, I hope you can find your inner voice. Because a strong inner voice to combat that abuse is going to help you get your head straight and help you get out of there. It creates such a state of desperation when you can no longer even trust what you've seen and heard. I really need to take a moment to thank you guys again for the tremendous uh, help and support you've been in my recovery. And I, I hope people are are starting to feel better through the development of this wonderful collective we have here at Kim Wilson TV. I'd probably still be shaking, curled up in the fetal position if not for you guys. I just really want to thank you guys so much. Uh, peace be with you. I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. See you guys soon.